Hi, I'm Rain and I'm the lead singer of Midnight Eternal. We are a symphonic metal band based out of New Jersey, USA. Hi, I'm Dan. I'm uh, the drummer for Midnight Eternal. And um, so far, the this tour has been going absolutely great. Um, it's our first time to the UK and Europe. And um, tonight especially, personally, was my favorite show so far. I mean, it was absolutely great. And everybody on the tour has been great, all the bands. Um, and all the people at all the shows have been just great. And uh, I guess... Um, it's we're looking forward to the rest the rest of the tour we still have a bunch more a bunch more dates to go and uh uh no complaints i mean everything's just been great and um as far as uh influences and different things i like um one of my top favorite albums of all time is metallica master of puppets uh just because it has just the thrash elements and that's what really got me into playing uh, music and just getting into metal and then of course i like all the symphonic metal bands i love symphony x uh stradivarius i like um obviously therian um i like uh megadeth I, a wide range of heavy metal music and uh i think um metals definitely i mean the fans all the people are metal still very strong i mean i see a bunch of people every night in the audiences and uh it's just great on my part no complaints whatsoever so the band was founded in 2014 uh, by two members of Operatica, Boris Zaks and Richard Fisher, who then contacted Dan Prest up here and uh, asked him uh, and Mike LaPond of Symphony X to join them in recording a two-song demo. They then contacted me and we recorded two songs in the studio, When Love and Faith Collide and Masquerade of Lies. And once we had finished that, we realized that this should not just be a studio project, it should be a full-time band. And that was when Greg Manning came on board to replace Mike LaPont. Since then, we have opened um, for acts such as Camelot, Dragon Force, Delane, Sonata Arctica, Xandria, Quiet Riot. Uh, I feel like I'm Lost forgetting Doro. a few. Doro. Yeah. And uh, we toured last year in the U.S. with uh, Queensryche and Armored Saint. We did a five-week tour with them. And right now, of course, we are on tour with Therian, uh, No Positive, and Imperial Age. And it's been a wonderful experience so far. Um, so the name Midnight Eternal was something that Boris and Rich came up with. Were you around when they were coming up with the name of the band? Because I, I came in a little bit later. They were mentioning a bunch of stuff, but um, mm. as far as the um, the band name, we thought we thought about it for a while, but it it came up. Everything came together very quickly. So um, I actually met Rain once uh, back maybe 10 years ago, not even eight to 10 years ago. And yeah, I remembered her and Boris, um, our keyboard player. Um, we were in a, another project together and, um, he initially called me and wanted to just do, he wanted to make this a, he had a couple songs written and he wanted to have this to make more like a session thing. Um, so I, I suggested we make this a full time live band because I thought yeah, the music, it's all, it's all because of Dan, <laughs> all because of me. He so, brought everyone together. Yeah, yeah, so I told Boris, um, I said, I really think we should make this a full-time live project, not just a recording session for a couple songs or an album. And so, of course, Boris is the one who founded the band. Yeah, yeah, Boris founded it. He writes a lot, all the music. Um, and he, uh, as far as um, he, he, when he called me to ask me about this, I just thought, um, let's move forward as far as we can with this. So he already knew our guitar player, Richard Fisher. They were in another band together uh, called Operatica, and they so they already had a chemistry. And then um, so initially, when I told him to start this, uh, he we already had it, all the pieces together. So we needed a singer, and um, we needed a full time bassist. So I thought of Rain, and uh, I I found her on Facebook again, and we social media, and then <laughs> I called her. She gave me her number again. We reconnected, and next thing you know, the band was formed, and. Uh, Everything's been moving forward very fast. Um, we've only been together roughly three years, and uh, we have our first album out. We're working on our second album. And uh, after this tour, we come back. We go back home to the States and start recording our second album. So hopefully by the summer, it should be recorded, and then full-on you know, touring after that.
Yeah. Um, so the name Midnight Eternal, um, it's it's more of an atmosphere rather than um, a, a meaning specifically. It's just, um, you know, I, I, I feel like, I, again, and I wasn't around when they chose the name. I, I came on board after, but I've always really liked it because I feel that it just really matches our sound as far as, um, and also some of the lyrical themes when it comes to um, things that are a little bit darker, um, you know, uh, I've always been a fan of vampires. It kind of reminds me of that. So it's cool. Um, and, uh, I think at the end of the day, it was just something, um, a name that we all thought sounded really cool. Um, it doesn't necessarily, um, have, uh, like a specific meaning, but more of a feeling. So that's where the name came from. Um, so far this tour has been, it's uh it's been great. Um we've also had some uh interesting <laughs> to say the least experiences. Um so just a lot of uh things that happened, tour buses uh catching on fire and um we uh spent about 4 hours outside in London after a gig one night. Um so we had a dance party and it was fun. Um just yeah, it's been a lot of ups and downs, but it's really been such a memorable experience and we're only staying until Barcelona, so um we're sad we're going to be sad to leave when we do, but it's been awesome and today uh finally our keyboard player and uh main songwriter Boris has joined us and we got to play with him live for the first time. Um I also write um a major share of the lyrics. Um Boris writes the rest of the lyrics and all of the music. Um, my favorite three albums of all time, uh, would have to be the first one is Once by Nightwish. Um, Nightwish are the reason that I sing symphonic metal. I discovered metal a little bit before I discovered Nightwish. I was listening to Guns N' Roses and Metallica and Iron Maiden. But once I heard Nightwish, I knew that this is what I want to do. And I know that a lot of singers in this genre, um, say the same thing. And it's true for me as well. Um, my second favorite album would be uh, the musical The Phantom of the Opera by Andrew Lloyd Webber. Um, I've always been a huge fan of musicals. That's uh, what I went to school for. I studied musical theater. So um, that is my second one. And then the third one is tough, um, but I would have to say um, Haven by Camelot. It's a new album. It's their um, the, the last one that they released before the one that I think they haven't released it yet, but it's going to come out soon. Oh, yeah. But I just, I love it so much. And it's replaced, um, uh, Camelot is my second favorite band and it's, it's become my f favorite album of theirs. So, and we, um want to just say thank you so much to everyone here in Belgium for making this such an amazing experience for us. It's our first time here and we can't wait to come back. And um, it's been, yeah, yeah. you, you want to go ahead? <laughs> yeah, I think um, just this, my whole, our whole experience, I mean, has just been amazing from day one, just the warm welcome, especially since it's only our second tour as a band and our first tour, obviously, overseas. So, um to me, I mean, I couldn't thank everyone enough. I want to thank Therian. I want to thank all the bands, um, Imperial Age, uh, Null Positive, uh, the crew, lighting guy, sound guy. Everybody's just been great. Um, couldn't be any friendlier. The driver. The driver <laughs> our uh, tour bus driver has yeah. been great. Um, so I have, once again, no complaints. And uh, and we did have some interesting stories when we stood outside for four hours. I forgot about that. But yeah. we, we made it into a party, like she said. And... Uh, the bus catching fire, not our bus. Not our bus. bus. And then so, we all came on, on our bus and we drove for a few hours without power. And you know what? You just got to make the best of it. We've It's it's really, it's just been so many things to remember for sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, last but not least, we would like to thank Jan Vervaki. Uh, I'll say that again. Last but not least, we would like to thank Jan Vervaki very much for this wonderful interview. It's been a great experience, and we can't wait to come back to Belgium. Thank you so much.